What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing a first generation Pokemon. This is Bulbasaur. Let's get started in the center of our page and draw the top edge of the eyes. Now we're going to leave a large gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We're going to draw a curve that goes up. And then we'll bend that out towards the left. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going up and then bending that out. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the eye. Starting from the inside, we're just going to curve this down and then up. Draw the same thing on the right side. And now we'll draw the outside of the eye. From the top, we're going to step in, curve out, down, and then in towards the bottom. Now we're going to trace this curve along the inside. So stepping in, curve around, and pull that in. Let's add an oval in the center, starting from the top, come down towards the bottom of the eye, and then all the way back up towards the top. Let's go over towards the right, come down towards the same height, and then back up. We're also going to add a fold along the top of the eyes. Starting on the left, step up, just follow the same curve of the eye going up and out. Line this up on the right. And we'll move back to the center and draw the top edge of the mouth. We're going to start right in the middle, start with a point. Now from here, we're just going to curve this up and then go straight out towards the left. And then we'll just bend that back up towards the outside corner of the eye. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Going up, going straight out. And we'll bend that up, aiming towards the outside corner of the eye. Now we're going to draw the bottom of the mouth. Starting on the left, let's step in. It's going to curve this down in towards the middle, bend that out, and up on the right. Now we'll add two fangs on either side, starting on the left, and down, and up towards the top, and the same thing on the right side. Let's go back to the center and draw in the nostrils, leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, draw a short angle line going up and out, line this up on the right. Now I'm going to move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the left eye, we're going to step out. I'm just going to curve this out and then down to right about there. Line this up on the right and come down towards the same height. Let's connect the jaw with a curve. Starting back on the left, we come down underneath the mouth. Just going to round this out and go back up on the right. Now we're going to go back up to the top and draw in the ears. Let's start from the left side of the head. Curve the ear going out, and then up, go to the right, and do the same thing. Now we're going to pull the ears coming in towards the top of the head. Starting back on the left, go straight in, and then bend that down. Let's draw the top of the head. On the left side, we're going to step up, curve the head going up, and then bend that down in behind the right ear. Now we're going to add those spots in the center of the forehead. Let's start from the very top on the left, curve up and in, go out towards the right and then down, draw a short angle line coming in towards the center of the head. Now we connect the outside to the inside with a curve, coming down and then across. Let's add a smaller spot on the left side, going up and in, in and then down, flatten off the end. And we'll just curve the bottom, coming down and in. Let's add one more on the right side. Going up and out, come down towards the bottom, close off the bottom with a curve. Now we're going to move down and tuck the front legs underneath the head. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve down and then out, go over towards the right, and do the same thing. And we'll draw three small half circles on either side. Starting on the left, go up and then down. And then do that two more times. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's go back over towards the left side and round out the leg. We're going to go out, pull that up and in, aiming towards the head. We're going to leave a gap along the top.
Let's go back down and add in the claws. From the outside point, come down and in, and up toward the second point. And we're gonna connect each of the points with a claw. And then halfway down the inside of the leg, the curve of the body coming down and then up. Let's draw on the back legs. We're gonna start from the side of the head, curve the leg going out, down, and then in. Line this up on the right, going out, and then in towards the same height. And I'll add a couple half circles along the bottom, starting on the left, go up and then down, go up and in behind the front leg. Now we're going to add those claws. Come down, and then up, and one more on the inside. Let's go back and add those spots. We're going to start on the left leg, curve up and in, come in and down, come down and out, and go straight out toward the side of the leg. Now we'll add a smaller spot on the inside, start with a straight line, round up the bottom, curve up towards the top. Let's add a spot on the outside of the right leg, starting from the top, curve in and then down, come down and out, and go up towards the side. Let's add a couple more spots on the hind leg, starting from the top, come in, then head down and then out. Go over towards the right side. Come in. Come down. And we'll bend that out. Let's layer that large bulb in behind the head and body. We start at the very top. Let's start over on the left side. Curve the bulb going out around the ear. Come down and then in towards the side of the hind leg. Let's line this up on the right. Going out again around the ear down, and then in. Let's go back up to the top. We're just gonna bend this in and then up. And then we'll add some points across the top. Starting on left, come down and in with a short line. Let's add another point, going up and then down. And then we'll add one more on either side. Let's go to that center point, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the top of the head. Then we'll go to the outside point, curve down and then out on either side. And then from here it's going to round this out and then come down on top of the head. And that's pretty much it. There's Bulbasaur from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.